the research we've been conducting in Uganda on male circumcision, we've had some really exciting recent findings. We had previously shown that male circumcision reduces a man's risk of acquiring HIV. More recently, we have found that the public health benefits are much broader. Circumcision also reduces the man's risk of acquiring gentle herpes, HSV2, as well as HPV, human papillomavirus, which is a cause of gentle warts and of penile cancer. So this was very positive. Even more recently, we have found that male circumcision also has beneficial effects for women. Um, women married to men who were randomized to be circumcised had lower rates of vaginal infections such as Strichomonas or bacterial vaginosis and they also have lower rates of human papillomavirus which in women is the cause of cervical cancer. Previously it had been observed that women married to circumcised men appear to have lower rates of cancer but now we have biological evidence that it is really the circumcision that is the protective factor. Not 100% protective, but nonetheless, if you can lower the risk uh, in women, over time, this will definitely result in fewer cases of cancer. Circumcision uh, gives us an opportunity to examine mucosal tissue uh, in very large amounts to look at uh, HIV target cells, immunologic um, factors that might protect an individual, and the virus itself in the tissue. So it gives us insights into uh, where the rubber meets the road, where the virus penetrates the body. We were interested in the target cells for HIV uh, that are in the foreskin to try and understand why removing the foreskin protected men from HIV. And the research showed uh, that these target cells are abundant in the foreskin tissues and that with co-infection with herpes virus you get an increase in two kinds of target cells that are very critical for the dissemination of the virus. So it can provides biologic plausibility for what we previously observed, um, the reduction of HIV in randomized trials. and gives us some insight into perhaps other methods of controlling the uh, infection.